Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the correlation of a whole food plant-based diet and type two diabetes. I got a request recently asking to share some meals that somebody with type two diabetes could eat on a whole food plant-based diet. And I'm absolutely going to do that in an upcoming video. But as always, I wanna give you some information before I just throw out some meals that you can copy paste to your life. Of course, I'm a holistic nutritionist, but that does not mean I am a doctor. You want to make sure that you talk with your doctor. Unfortunately today, most doctors that you talk to are going to want to work with medicine as opposed to working with changing your diet and lifestyle. But diet and lifestyle are close related to type 2 diabetes and pretty much every chronic disease that's out there nowadays and what we're really fighting as an epidemic in our society. So I encourage you to do your own research. A leading doctor on the subject of type 2 diabetes and the correlation of a whole food plant-based diet is Dr. Neil Barnard. I'll link some videos down below so you can get some more information. He has a website that has a ton of information. If you are somebody with type 2 diabetes, I would highly recommend heading over to his website because there's a wealth of information. I am not a scientist and I'm not a doctor, but in this video, I'm just gonna do a very general overview of type two diabetes and how adopting a whole food plant-based diet can help really improve the state of the diabetes or if you're pre-diabetic or even if you have type one diabetes, how it can help you improve. Some studies have shown that when you have type two diabetes and you adopt a whole food plant-based diet, it can be completely reversed. So please do your research. There's lots of stuff out there, free information on YouTube, and I'll go ahead and link some things that you can watch or research on your own. I just want to empower you to begin to learn for yourself what's going to be best for you. If you have type two diabetes, or really if you have any sort of chronic disease, or even if you just want to lose weight, and if you need a little bit of guidance on your journey, I'm always up to helping people with that. You can learn more at my website, veganmichelle.com, if you're interested. All right, so let's just get into a little overview here. Type two diabetes is perhaps one of the most common and the most chronic diseases that we're seeing as a disease of affluence. And what I mean by that is that as a country begins to grow more wealthy, they tend to get sicker and fatter. So we can see America as the prime example of that. There's more obesity, more type two diabetes, more heart disease, more cancer in America than there has ever been. But it's not even just in America anymore. It's jumping borders and on the rise are heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and stroke. These things are all on the rise. We're seeing a massive spike in type two diabetes all around the world, even places like India and China where they are growing wealthier, these diseases are becoming very prominent. But diabetes is leading the way. In contrast to infectious diseases, which we were dealing with mostly as a society in the early 1900s, chronic diseases such as type two diabetes can really be eradicated with a healthy diet and lifestyle. These statistics on diabetes are really quite grim and very staggering. More than 29 million Americans are diabetic and 86 million more are pre-diabetic, meaning that they're likely to have diabetes in the next 10 years or fewer. And the worst thing is that a lot of people don't even realize that they're pre-diabetic or diabetic until they randomly go in for a checkup and the doctor tells them, hey, you've got diabetes. So type two diabetes can really wreak havoc on the body. And if you don't even know you've been diagnosed with it, you may not even realize that it's something you need to change with your diet and your lifestyle. So I'm going to really boil it down and distill it into a really simple explanation and understanding of what diabetes is. To understand diabetes, you need to understand the role of blood sugar. Blood sugar is another term for glucose, which is the body's preferred method of fuel. The food that we eat gets broken down into glucose and then it's transported through the bloodstream and it's taken into the cells with help from a hormone called insulin. Insulin is produced by the beta cells in our pancreas and its primary function is to activate insulin receptors in the cells, which allow the glucose to enter the cells from the bloodstream and then be broken down into energy that the body can use. Diabetes refers to a condition where the blood sugar or the glucose cannot get into the cells and therefore starts to build up in the bloodstream. And there's two ways that this can kind of go wrong. The first way is type one diabetes, which is normally diagnosed in childhood as a result of an autoimmune response that damages the cells that create insulin. And so type one diabetes is often termed insulin dependent diabetes. Type one diabetes is less common and it only affects about five to 10% of the cases of people who have diabetes. The second type of diabetes is much 
much more common and it's a condition known as insulin resistance. This is where glucose builds up in the bloodstream. It's often slow growing and typically found in adults, although nowadays more and more children are being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes as well. And it's closely correlated with a high fat diet and with weight gain. Many people don't realize that type 2 diabetes is largely preventable and can even be reversed through diet and lifestyle. And even those with type 1 diabetes by adopting a whole food plant-based diet can greatly reduce the severity of the illness. And like I said in the introduction, most doctors do not go the dietary route to see any changes, positive changes in diabetes. Oftentimes it's just prescribing medications that lower blood sugar. The problem with trying to use medications to treat type 2 diabetes, for example, is that they don't get to the root cause. They manipulate the markers without getting to the underlying reason why you have type 2 diabetes in the first place. But the good news is that type 2 diabetes is completely tied into diet and lifestyle choices and it can be improved by just changing those diet and lifestyle choices. So if you want to have normal blood sugar numbers, the fastest and most effective way to do that is to adopt a whole food plant-based diet. Hey, if you enjoyed the content on Vegan Michelle and you're ready to take your health or weight loss to the next level, I encourage you to come work with me one-on-one. -on -one. My passion is working with weight loss clients, but I work with all kinds of clients. So if you're interested, head over to veganmichelle.com to get you on your best path to health. And now let's get back to the video. Now, most people are convinced that when it comes to diabetes, sugar is the culprit. Dr. Barnard explains it this way. He says that most people believe their blood sugar is high, so they need to eliminate sugar in their diet. They think that they shouldn't eat foods that are rich in carbohydrates, like potatoes or bread or pasta or rice that release carbohydrates because the carbohydrates will turn to sugar in your blood. So people think, get rid of sugar, get rid of the diabetes. But the problem in diabetes is not the glucose, especially when it comes from whole plant sources. The body needs glucose as fuel. The problem is that the glucose isn't getting into the cells, but it's staying in the blood. So just to reiterate, diabetes is not a disease caused by consuming too much sugar. It's a disease caused by problems getting sugar into the cells. So that's not to say you wanna just add a bunch of sugar to your diet. That's not what I'm saying in the slightest. But I'm saying if you only focus on reducing sugar and reducing carbohydrates out of your diet, you're going to be missing the real culprit of what causes type 2 diabetes. So what is the real culprit? It's actually the buildup of little fat droplets in the cell. So diabetes is caused by high fat, high meat, Western American type diet. Coupled with a sedentary lifestyle, you are doing yourself no favors at all. So what is the kind of diet that you should follow if you want to reverse type 2 diabetes, well the research out there is definitely points to a whole food plant-based diet. Vegans and vegetarians have the lowest number of type 2 diabetes out there. Because type 2 diabetes is caused by too much fat, reducing dietary fat has a direct impact on the disease and it allows insulin to begin to function properly again. Diets that are rich in plant foods and low in animal foods are shown to be the most effective. Studies back in the 1960s were already confirming the fact that reducing the amount of animal products that you consume and having a lower fat diet overall were really already affecting type 2 diabetes. So this isn't new information, I just feel like it gets lost lost in all of the stuff that's out there nowadays. Multiple studies show that a high carbohydrate diet coming from whole plant sources with lots of fiber is not only safe, but also the choice of diet for diabetics. Fiber from fiber rich plant foods has also been shown to reduce fasting blood glucose and glycated hemoglobin, which is another measure of blood sugar. And as I've talked about on this channel multiple times, the populations around the world that are the healthiest eat this way, eating lots of high fiber plant foods and have the lowest risk of diabetes within their communities. Dr. Barnard has done studies where he has shown that a low-fat vegan diet was found to be three times more effective than the American Diabetes Association dietary guidelines at controlling blood sugar. So you should never underestimate the ability of your body to heal itself when it's given the right foods. Diabetes is not a life sentence and so many people as they've adopted this diet have begun to see reversal. So I do want to mention if you decide to choose a whole food plant-based diet to begin to eliminate your type 2 diabetes, you want to talk to your doctor if you're on any medications because most likely you will have to adjust the amount that you're taking. So let's talk about fruit for just a second here because like I said, a lot of people believe that the sugar is what is causing the diabetes but I want you to know that you should not be fearful of fruit in anything if you have type 2 diabetes or if you don't fruit is not to be feared people often associate fruit with really high sugar which is going to lead to diabetes or weight gain or what have you and yes it is high in fructose but it also has plenty of water in it and fiber in it and other nutrients in it that are very different than high fructose corn syrup very different than candy very different than processed sugar in fact fruits have been shown to blunt the effects of other high glycemic foods 
on our blood sugar levels. So fruit is exceptionally good for you. There's so many nutrients in fruit. Having one to two pieces a day, or if you wanna have more than that, intake of fruit should not be restricted for those with type two diabetes or for anybody. There's no reason to fear fruit. So what are the takeaways here? Type two diabetes is preventable and can even be reversible in some cases. If you've developed type two diabetes or if you are at a risk for type two diabetes, it is not a life sentence to medications and needles. A whole food plant-based diet has proven to prevent and in many cases reverse type two diabetes as well as improve type one diabetes. And then the second main thing that I wanna drive home here is that type two diabetes is not caused by sugar and carbohydrate rich food. It's caused by a diet heavy in fat and animal food. Avoiding refined sugar is always a good idea, of course, no matter what kind of diet you're on, but definitely don't cut out whole carbohydrate foods or fruits. Just cut back on the animal foods instead. And you'll be saving yourself from the animal foods and the higher amounts of fat in the diet that do contribute to actually getting type two diabetes. I will link a very informative video on how to start a whole food plant-based diet and what you need to eat to be able to see the changes that you wanna see in your life. And of course, I'm going to do some upcoming videos sharing some really simple whole food plant-based kind of foods that you can eat on a daily basis or meals that you can prepare simply that will help you with this. But honestly, you can look through my recipes already. All of the whole food plant-based recipes that I have on my channel and I tout for the amazing benefits of weight loss are going to be the same kind of foods you want to be eating if you are pre-diabetic or you have type two diabetes. It's all the same. And that's really why I'm so passionate about sharing a whole food plant-based diet recipes as well as information about it is because not only does it help with type two diabetes or weight loss, it helps with everything, overall health. You're going to be a healthier person in general, in every single way, when it comes to heart disease, when it comes to cancer prevention, when it comes to type two diabetes, when it comes to weight loss, if you adopt this kind of diet. So yes, am I passionate about this subject? Absolutely. Have I helped lots of people with this? Absolutely. So I know that it works. And if you don't wanna take my word for it, do some research, look into some clinical studies where these things have been proven to help overall health with type two diabetes, with obesity, with heart conditions, with so many chronic diseases that are prevalent in our society today that really can be prevented or completely eliminated by a whole food plant-based diet. So I hope you learned something with this kind of really simplistic distilled down version of what causes type two diabetes and how a whole food plant-based diet can be helpful to those dealing with that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and please make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you know when I have more videos coming out, more recipe videos that are gonna help you eat this way and adopt a whole food plant-based diet as well as more information that is going to be helpful to you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And like I said before, this is not a death sentence. If you have type two diabetes, there is hope. It's just a matter of mustering up the courage to change your diet and lifestyle and get yourself back on the road to health. So be encouraged and I'll see you guys in my next video.